can try to mimic it, so I have to try to spoof it. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday morning, and it's a little bit of a different start to my day today. I'm working evenings today. Tonight, I guess is the word, or today. And so I get to kind of start today off like it's Saturday. So I'm making coffee, just doing a few errands. I have a little bit of catch up to do administratively since um, I got back from Tulum. Got a little bit behind. Um, so yeah, I think today is going to be totally awesome. I have basically five hours well, kind of maybe four now, no, five actually, to get rolling on all the things that I need to get done. I'm feeling extra inspired today. I was a little bit vlog flated yesterday. <laughs> um, but I just really wanna focus on um, getting this stuff done. I'm feeling good because I've been, since I've returned from Tulum, um, in my vacation with Superhumans, tell of Holly and Jackie, who I have to tell you just are so, uh, like, the way they eat, it really inspired me. So they don't put any preservatives or additives into their body and they just make choices that are really healthy for them and I think that really rubbed off on me. So since I returned from Tulum, have been eating all natural food, foods, more fish, more whole grains, less preservatives, fewer things that are processed. I have not had a diet, anything, soda, since I guess last Wednesday. So it's been over a week and it hasn't really been hard. I've kind of substituted it with sparkling flavored water well, sparkling water, like with no additives or preservatives and club soda. So that's feeling really good and I think it impacts like how I'm feeling and my digestion and my overall health and that's kind of what I'm focusing on. I think if I focus on it, I'm, I'd like to lose about 20 pounds. I hate to assign a number to it, but I just think when I know that when I'm operating at peak, um, food health, I'm operating at peak many other things and that's when the breakthroughs and the magic happen. So really focused on that and so I'll be having eggs for breakfast today. I'm going to try to have a vegetable with it too. Definitely I'll be having sauerkraut. Um, don't know what my other vegetable will be. Maybe beans. Maybe I'll bring a little bit of Mexico back, beans and salsa or something. So anyway, I hope you're having a great Friday and I will see you soon. So I just finished the run. Hi friends. I'm on my way into work on a beautiful Friday afternoon. It's really warm out here and it feels good. I feel spring in the air. Um, so I'm gonna run to the grocery store before I... I'm gonna run to the grocery store before I head into work because I have a newfound love for a club soda. It has totally replaced Diet Pop. I've been trying to give up Diet Pop for, well, probably since I started drinking Diet Pop which would have been around, oh, let's see, maybe 1999. So for about almost 20 years. And I think this is probably the longest that I've gone without it and it feels fantastic. I think my whole digestive system's getting back to normal. I think my whole being is, feeling better and my thoughts are feeling clearer and it's just made a huge difference. I've, I've never taken Diet Pop putting it seriously but after the Tulum vacation I did and this is where I'm at now which is wonderful. Have a great Friday friends. I don't know if I'll be vlogging again today if I'm not. Have a great day if I am.
see you soon. Oops. Hey everyone, I uh, just got back home and feel like I have a few things to do. Um, I have some vlogs to edit, definitely always have vlogs to edit because I do stuff like this. Anyway, in my ever desire to live in a tropical planet, planet <laughs> a tropical place, I decided that instead of using hi, hey, hi, hey, what's up? I'm gonna start using hola, 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 and buenos dias, because I think hola is just fun and I think it's different. And it's will always keep in my mind the place that we're going to in the tropics. And I don't know if it's Mexico or not, but it just brings that whole sense with it. Um, what I want to do is figure out how to put my standards of integrity in some, and by standards of integrity, I'm reading this book called The Energy of Money. And it basically invites, or one of the exercises was to list out what mine are. And it was a good exercise because it was like go through and identify people that you want to be like and then write what, you know, the characteristics you think of when you think of them. So mine were creative, inspirational, encouraging, entertaining, funny, accepting, empathetic, reliable, teacher, insightful, intuitive, healing, reliable, leadership, forgiving, interesting, hopeful, courageous, honest, magical. And one that I thought of this morning is love. Hey. That's one that I left out from the list. And what's interesting about this list is if you spot it, you got it. So, meaning, um, takes one to know one, you know, that type of thing. So I find it interesting that um, love wasn't initially on there, and then it was on there. That's all. And in just talking with people, some people yesterday, the topic of funny and humor and lightness and levity is coming up a lot, so that's cool. Because, I think things are a whole lot more fun when you just have fun with them. I mean, there is a time for serious and a time for fun. So one of the challenges that I've put forth to myself is my friend wrote a little blip blur piece for her website. Well, I shouldn't call it that. I mean, it's pretty deep and serious and I'm kind of like... Um, anyway, she wrote a piece for her website and I told, I sent an email to her and said personal challenge to self is for me to make this funny. So I'm curious to make that happen now. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. And then later I'll edit some vlogs. I got to get four edited today or I'm going to be pooched. So that's the goal. See you in a bit. Bye bye. And Curdy and I are going out for lunch to North Lake which I'm kind of torn on because I've been eating really healthy all week and then now I'm gonna have to either make an exception or choose something healthy or semi-healthy. So we'll see. See what I do. Bye. Just on my way to do one of my favorite things which is go out to a restaurant for a meal. And Kurt just texted me, he's on his way to North Lake, so we're gonna meet there and have lunch and or breakfast. I don't think they, they're still serving breakfast. But anyway, I'm feeling good because I got the pictures from the Tulum vacation uploaded so that Jackie and Holly and Talib can see them there. And I'm just feeling really good about just about so many things. And that feels good. I hope you are too, and I hope you're out there doing what you want to do. Because that's what life's all about. Live, baby. Live. It is dusk, it's kind of sunset ish, and I'm just heading out for a run. Um, it's really pretty. This is the best time of the day. 
sunrise and sunset. So beautiful, so magical. Ooh, glad I stood out here too because I think I'm going to need to put a tube on. Um, yeah, so I'm heading out for a run, feeling excited and kind of committed because this is my third run this week. Tina Turner? She's awesome and amazing. She just has such a strong voice that I can try to mimic it, so I have to try to spoof it. That's interesting. So the run was awesome. As per usual, I didn't regret it because I did it. And it really, it wasn't too hard to get out and motivated to doing. And when I was running too, I was thinking about the whole raison d'etre why I originally started this vlog and it was to find the funny so to find the funny in non-funny situations or in life in general so basically that's what I'm going to try to do again um yeah so we'll see and I'm still trying to think who my audience is I haven't answered that question so if you're out there and you're watching please let me know